everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Boy, did I rattle that off. <laughs> it's the only part of this whole video that I know what I'm going to say. Other than I was working on my little blessing dolls and I started a third one and they're all going to be of that brown yarn because that's the color that I happen to have. I'm using yarn up that I already had and so I haven't purchased any of for these and that's what I'm doing but I wanted to show you yesterday I showed you my blonde with the curls well today I thought I would try to do a different type of hairdo and I did braids on this little girl so she's gonna have braids on her hair and this took a long time too but I thought, well, I wanted to try something different, so I did. And I'm, I'm making a third one, and she's going to, these, they all have different color um, pants on. And so they'll have a different color dress, and they all have a different color ribbon. And hers is more of a purplish color, which is really pretty. Today I took care of black, no. Mm -hmm. Bearded lady? I want to, no. I don't know what I want to call her because I don't call her Bearded Lady a lot of times. Oh dear, and I can't change her name. Everybody knows her as the Bearded Lady. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what I call her. I just call her my little lady. <clears throat> little lady is what I call her when I'm talking to her. I says, how are you doing today, little lady? And so I don't know. She has a name, but probably Bearded Lady is her name, but... When I refer to her, I would have to say something else, probably. Mm. I don't know. It's it's harder and harder because her personality has come out. She used to be not so pretty in my mind, but she's actually growing on me. She's <laughs> it's Isn't that funny how something that's not real attractive becomes attractive? It must be how people fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> must be. Must be. Because... Um, <clears throat> what you may think is beauty in, in the, it's all, the beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, like they would say. So, like, somebody else might think, ah, she's not that cute. And that makes me think of that song about never choose a pretty wife, pretty girl to be your wife. Take an ugly girl, and you'll be happy the rest of your life, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if you want to be, I can't happy remember. Happy for the rest of your, your life. life. Never take a pretty girl to be your wife. From my personal point of view, get an ugly girl to marry you. That's the song that comes to mind. And I love that song because it is funny. And I don't believe it. Well, you never know. And when the guy says, hey, have you seen, I saw your wife the other day. <laughs> it's like, yeah, me and is she ugly. <laughs> I just love that part. And, I, and there's another song that I liked, but I can't think of it right now. But there's a lot of, actually, there's a lot of songs I like. And when they're playing, it's funny how you can sing along, but you only know the refrain. You don't know the full song. You might know just bits and pieces of it. But um, I let, back on, on Bearded Lady, she went in the, in the hammock, or the, Sling, Sling and Mr. G said he, her name could have been Slingshot, or I said, you know, he calls her Slingshot or something, and I said, that could have been her name too, because she is in the sling. I just adjusted her just before I came out, because for some reason, she when she falls over, when she, it's, she doesn't really lay down, lay down, she kind of falls down, <laughs> I think. And her one leg is always in the wrong place, and so I adjust her. And so right now she's she's kind of standing up on her legs. She did try to walk a little bit yesterday, but, you know, if you think of stroke, people that have had strokes on the um, right side, I think it is, or left side, I don't know. They use a cane, but it's a tripod or a or quad cane or a tri cane it's not just a straight cane and you see them do the cane and slide their foot and I'm trying to think which hand 
they usually one hand. We used to put a washcloth in the hand because the one hand would get so tight that their nails could go into their skin. So we used to put a washcloth in their hand. And so every time I pass her, I'm straightening her little foot. And after she's been standing in the slingshot for a while, her feet actually are straight. And her little thumb that she has on the back of her fingers there, her toes, it's nice and down like it should be. I did make another um, sling for her. I extended a little bit because it seemed like she needed more on the upper part where her weight is. And the back side was okay the way it was. But I had to make a little bit more on the front, and so I did that today. I made a little bit extension on her, um, on her sling, her cradle that she's cradled in. And um, Mr. Brown, he ran around. <laughs> I let him out of his, out of his um, little cage, and he was out for a good hour and a half. And when I came back to get him, here he is basking in the sunshine. <laughs> the sun had beamed through the window. And somebody else had mentioned about how the chickens need to hear the other chickens. Well, the chicken house is right on the other side of the window. In fact, that's the window that I wanted to be able to open. And so... Um, here. We are trying to think of, um, so bearded lady, I was going to say pretty girl, <laughs> little lady. She hears the um, rooster crow and when he crows he calls them all over for their chicken scratch and they all come running and then he's looking, going up and down, up and down with his head looking at the, at the dog kennel and every time he looks up and looks down those girls crowd around him and then he kind of chased one away and then he'll try and find another spot. And he, what it is is he needs to squat down so he can jump up to fly up to that dog panel. And when he does the crow for everybody to come, then I give her some chicken scratch too because she, now she's heard the call. She's heard that he's called everybody and said, time for snack. And so I give some to her and I give some to um, Mr. Brown and he gets his chicken scratch too and I've put gravel in her food she's still eating I'm still giving her the higher protein food with the gravel and today I gave Mr. Brown the pellets because he's been having the high protein food too but I thought you know the babies outside with their mamas are actually eating regular food with the gravel and the bugs and so I give so I've given him a mixture. He's got he's got the pellets. I want him to get used to having pellets because I don't buy the crumble. I buy the pellets. I find the pellets work better in the long run. If they drop on the ground there's less waste. Whereas with the crumble it seems like there's more waste with the chickens and so I don't I don't want the waste to crumble be seems heavy. more powdery too. Yeah. And the the um pellets they do have a powderiness to them sometimes, but that's after you get into the bottom of the barrel. Otherwise, they they have um, a lot of a lot of um, substance to them. Boy, I feel like I'm hoarse today. I haven't mm -hmm. talked very much, and so now I, my talking is being <laughs> done now. So I don't. I'm running out of stuff to say. So I think that's my video for today. I hope you all had a great day. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.